Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is August the 15th, 2020. Let's talk about a play right now in the NBA. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now look, you and I know that LeBron James, this is really his era, right? He's one of the all-time greats. An argument can be made that he's a much better player than Giannis. Much better. But Giannis is going to win the MVP this year in part for political reasons, right? The game is reaching out internationally. Giannis is Greek, foreign-born. Uh, Milwaukee hasn't had a lot of rings. In fact, I believe the last ring they had was Lou Alcindor and Big O years ago. And Giannis is a big-time player in Milwaukee. No one is going to cry about any Los Angeles Laker not winning the MVP because the Lakers have had so much success in the past. Right? So LeBron's not going to get the MVP. It's going to be Giannis. Let me also say, too, that there are a couple other people who should be in the MVP conversation, but they're not going to be. Portland's too small of a market, right? People remember the Portland Jail Blazers with Rasheed Wallace. Damon Lillard is not going to win MVP. He's just not. Let me also say, one of the dominant players of our time, Certainly one of the dominant scorers. A guy who, by the way, is pretty good at stealing the basketball on defense as well. James Harden is not going to win the MVP simply because his game is not fun to watch. We want scorers who look like MJ, Kobe. right? You want that scorer who looks athletic, who's Fred Astaire with the basketball. I believe James Harden is immensely talented. He should be first ballot Hall of Famer. People are always going to use, until he breaks through, the fact that he hasn't won a ring as an argument against him being the MVP. But look at his numbers, folks. Right? It's astonishing that he didn't win the MVP last year. He should be more highly thought of this year. But he's not. Right? Even though an argument can be made that he is the best offensive player in the league, not only right now, but over the last four years. So, all of that said, the Los Angeles Lakers, for some odd reason, are co-favorites to win the NBA crown. This team doesn't belong in the conversation. The Avery Bradley absence from the bubble really hurt this team more than most. The problem with Kyle Kuzma as one of your three-point specialists is he's a streak shooter. He's not a pure shooter. This isn't Steph Curry. This isn't Chris Mullen. This isn't Kevin Durant. No, no, this is more J.R. Smith, right? A guy who on some nights can be hot and can get you in the game. But not a guy who you could treat like Clay Thompson, where you know he's going to hit a high percentage of his threes. Right? The Lakers just don't have the supporting cast for LeBron. And let's face it, this is the time in the season, right? Late in the season, playoffs, where Anthony Davis vanishes. I think the Clippers, with Doc Rivers, are a much stronger play. The fact that the Lakers are soaking up some odds gives you a tremendous opportunity right here, tremendous, to take the Clippers to win the Western Conference. You're getting a plus 150 on the Clippers, folks. That's where you want to be. Let's just talk about briefly some other teams. Look, Luka Doncic looks spectacular offensively. He's certainly on his way to the Hall of Fame if he just continues to put up the numbers he's already put up. Right? To me, 
Just in my mind, he's one of the three dominant young players in this league. Right? The other two being Ja Morant and Trey Young. Right? Sorry, I know there are a bunch of people who are not on my list. Zion Williamson, etc. Right? Hey, that's why the list is exclusive. But understand, Dallas doesn't have the defense to compete with the Clippers. I know the Clippers have been underachieving. I know guys like Lou Williams picked the worst possible time to go to a strip club. The bottom line is they have a Super Bowl winning head coach, right? Just like the Mavericks do, Doc Rivers. But they also have better defenders than Dallas has, right? Dallas will put up points on you. This is the time of year where defense matters. I think the Clippers beat Dallas in their playoff series. Let's go further. Russell Westbrook banged up. We can criticize Russell Westbrook. We can say he takes too many threes. He doesn't know he's not an outside shooter. He's one of the dominant players in NBA history. Right? Multiple years in which he averaged a triple-double. When you have a guy like this on the court and his motor is still revving late in the fourth quarter, he lifts his teammates. Just understand, the Houston Rockets are not at 100%. They just simply aren't. Some other teams, let's just say the Portland Trailblazers, is Carmelo Anthony playing defense these days? I think Portland is uniquely put together. I understand they have Hassan Whiteside and guys like that. I know Lillard's been carrying the team in the bubble. I don't like it when a guy averages over 50 points a game over a three-game stretch. And some of the games are close. And understand, there's no excuse for the game being close. Because they're playing at a neutral site. It's not like Portland's on the road and they're dealing with a road crowd and road refs. No, they're on a neutral site. And even with Lillard putting up spectacular numbers, and they're spectacular, Portland's barely squeaking by in some of these games. Right, so, right now, you're getting a plus 150 on the Clippers just to win the West. You don't even have to worry about Milwaukee for this part of the bet, right? I'll agree. If it gets to the finals and you have the, a very hungry Milwaukee Buck team that feels that they gave away last season, right? They feel they should have been the team on top, not Toronto. Then I'll agree. Anything could happen. But because we're limiting our bet to the Clippers to win the Western Conference, folks, I don't see the team here that can challenge them. I just don't. I think you're getting a plus 150 because the market is overvaluing the Los Angeles Lakers. I like the Clippers to win the Western Conference at these odds. Let's hope no one leaves the bubble. Let's hope no one finds their way to a strip club. Let's hope everyone stays healthy. Right? Understand, too, if the Clippers make it to the NBA Finals, this will be an interesting moment for the sport of basketball because Kawhi Leonard will be on the verge of delivering the first NBA title to a second franchise in his career. And it would be his third ring. Who's done that? I like the Clippers. They're undervalued here. Lakers hope, hopelessly overvalued. LeBron just doesn't have the team around him to carry him to the finish line, certainly not to beat the Los Angeles Clippers. I like the Clippers to win the Western Conference, 
I don't think it's close. The fact that you're getting better than even money makes this a compelling bet in my eyes. Let me just say this about the Eastern Conference. You know, I just don't see anyone beating the Bucks in the East. Certainly not the 76ers, now that they're without Ben. Right? Bottom line is, something's not quite right, in my opinion, with the Boston Celtics. I don't think there's another team in the East to be a serious contender to the Bucks. How could Toronto lose Kawhi Leonard? And I know Toronto is extremely well coached. I know those guys are extremely passionate. Just to understand, they barely got to the conference finals last year with Kawhi Leonard. Right? I just think the loss of Kawhi Leonard is simply too much. I know Toronto has a lot of gamers on that team, Siakam, etc., Gasol. Um, I just don't think they have enough to beat the Bucks. I think people need to realize when a team's time has come. And I'm just telling you, Milwaukee has been playing all year for this opportunity to run the table in the playoffs. And with so many teams banged up, with so many teams underachieving, with no Kawhi Leonard, to worry about in the Eastern Conference. I'd be shocked if Giannis doesn't make the NBA Finals. I like the Bucks in the East. I like the Clippers in the Western Conference. I believe the Lakers are overvalued. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If you've watched this video on YouTube, I hope you leave your comments in the video section, excuse me, in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.